Hey, what is up guys? It is Fat Ace and welcome back. Today I will be at telling you guys how to work with the inventory and how to add textures to this mod. If you have an extra texture, you're able to add it. With, but there is certain conditions, but I'll talk to that after the first part. First part, we'll talk about inventory. Again, you right click on the monster or NPC that you want to edit. You go right here, inventory. Now, there's a few things that some people don't realize and some people that don't know about. First off, this is obviously where the armor goes. Armor does not work on slimes, dragons, villagers, and a few other NPCs. Only NPCs that are human-like. And they also work on Nagas, except for when you equip either chest, helmet, it will also equip somewhere on the tail, which I don't know if that's a bug or not. Let me get me a few items first. Get myself a shield. Might be a bit laggy. I don't know why I'm seeing uh there we go. Too many items does that. Alright, so unfortunately you cannot shift click into it, you actually have to do it manually. I knew need to X out of that. So as you can see it works. Um, for the shield slot, anything can go there. You mean you can make your person have dual wield. If you wanted to, you can make them hold anything. Uh, when you do put a shield in there, there is no, they cannot block or anything like you can. So, the left hand weapons and items don't do anything at all and it doesn't matter which sword you put in there it does not affect how much damage you have on your melee options now for the XP most mobs that you kill range around 5 to 15 ender dragon has around that's the top limit, that's as much as you can get. Now, the reason why there's minimum, minimum and maximum is because, like, if I kill him, I can either get between 5 XP or 200 XP. Now, for the NPC inventory slot, if I want him to drop something, I obviously have to put it in here. Now, if it's on drop chance 100, it's always going to drop 100% and that's going to be 50%, and that's going to be 1 or 2%, and if you have it on here, it's kind of pointless to have it, have it on 0%. Um, inventory is easy to figure out. It's not that hard, but the next part is going to be hard for you guys. I'll just leave the color of the dragon alone. Alright. For those of you who do want to know how to put your own little texture in there, you want to open up your Minecraft dot Minecraft folder. Again, if you don't have it on your desktop, type in in the search bar percent app data percent and you'll get it. Now, you want to go to your mods folder. Go to this like get ugh, I can't talk again. Go to this right here. Open with WinRAR. You can exit out of that. Now, once you're in here, you want to open up Assets, Custom NPCs, and Textures. Now, you cannot add your armor, but you can replace certain armor, though. And that's the same with blocks. Cloaks and entities, you can add in. I'm going to close out of Minecraft. So, I'm going to add a few NPCs to it, and I will show you how you can also add in capes as well. Now, wherever you keep your capes at, and it doesn't matter, or your textures, I keep mine in a certain folder. Now, I have it set up to where everything right here is from custom NPCs. And the skins I made, and these are from other mods. Now, let's say if I wanted to... Skins I made. If I wanted to add a dragon model, out at the go back, entities, dragon, click
click on this and you drop it in there. And you click OK. If you want to add a crystal, again, you go to crystal, take this, drag and drop. Now, the only thing is you need to know how cer the certain textures are. You'd have to go into Nopes, so, and he will show you how to make each of them. Although crystals are easy to make, it's just basically the heads of if, as if you were doing a normal person. Uh, dragons are a bit more complicated. When it comes to the furry models, you have more choice to it. I'll show you. You can add things such as wings, a little beak to it if you want, uh, horns, ears, bunny ears, anything. Although I am still, I haven't really done too much into that yet. But I believe, let's see what's that. When I was messing around and I did this, to see what the areas are, I managed to see a lot of things that were added. And um, keep in mind, if you do want to add a skeleton ar archer, you do have to get into skeleton. If you want to add furry, you have to get into the furry. If you want to add furry male, female, you have to add it in furry female, and so on. So if you take my advice, if you do want to make your own texture and you want to make an enderman, I'd go into just the normal enderman, save that into your folder or something. Okay, there it is. And then you're able to edit it to whatever you want, and then drag and drop into the folder again. And that's how easy it is. As for capes, it's the same thing, except for the capes that you make for the cape mod are completely different. If I can find it. Wait, uh, let's back up. Cloak. Skins I made. Wherever it's at. <laughs> what did I do with it? Oh, no, it's right here. So you just drag and drop. It's easy. Close out of this. Now that you're done with it, you open Minecraft up again. Uh, give me a second, it's going to be laggy, so I'll be right back in a sec. And now that we're back, I will show you. You go into whichever model you want. And now uh, whatever you put in there is now in there. See, I put a lot of things in there from other mods, by the way. If if any of you were wondering why there were so many. But yes, I believe that is all for this episode. Uh, I'll be back with the advanced settings, and then after that will be the global. So yeah, see you next episode.